you take about half an hour for the unload the hose and everything, half an hour. And when you check a stock, and the man is done unload it, no water in the truck. They have to send a chilani and the and dung and the grill to get truck with water in it. Bless up, bless up. Welcome back to the channel, my people. It's your girl, Anissa Bell Rose. Thanks to all new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 10K, help me to get there, my people. So in this one, my people, massive fire at Montego Bay Shoe Market. Residents cried there was no water to extinguish fire. As well as... An article with a million dollar question asking if Jamaica has become a contract killing them. Also, Member of Parliament Philip Paulwell spoke out about those charged for the killing of his 10 month old daughter and her mother. Stay tuned for all that will be unfolded in this video. While you're at it, my people, drop a like on the video so according to residents of the montego bay area they claimed that a fire broke out at approximately 1 30 a.m this morning and dozens of stars were said to have been blazing in that massive fire the fire brigade was called and Resident complain of there is no water in the water hydrant. A journalist from the Gleaner was on the scene during the cooling down process and happened to interview a few of the residents as well as members from the fire brigade team trying to get some answers. Take a listen and tell me what you think. Benny. Monica, you are a vendor in yes, this market? This is market here. What did you lose this morning? I lose uh, everything. Clothes, items, shoes, a lot of things. Everything. Do you know what time the fire started and what caused about the fire? I, yes, I live about out the arcade here. I put up my things about 12.30. And when I reached home, I was watching news. And I get a call about 1.30. Mm -hmm. About one thirty, somebody called me that arcade is on fire. Yeah, I can't Something. believe this yes. is Jamaica yes. and you only stupid knowing this. The week. You can't have a fire truck and then here are one office and you don't have water in the truck. That's stupid. The truck come here and park and it take, it take about half an hour for the unload the hose and everything half the truck. And when you check a stock, I demand it don't unload it. No water in the truck. They have to send a chilani and the and dung and the grill to get truck with water in it. And none of the hydrants in Montego Bay. So it's the hydrants in Montego Bay that will have run out of water then? No water in the hydrant. And you're right next one, door to the fire right, station. Right in front of the fire station and no water in it. One day out here, sir. One day right out of the road front, no water. One That's stupid. Poor people are not in this. What poor people stand for? Just get oppressed every day. No, I'm going to go out to the park. Our station should not park. Just like a police, police truck park. And he, and he always have India tonight or diesel. A fire truck should not park without water. It's for his emergency. I am Superintendent Roland Walters. I am actually assigned to the Trelawney Division of the Jamaica Fire Brigade. However, based on the knowledge that we have of this place, Upon receiving this fire call, we had a predetermined response, meaning that the St. James Division engaged the Trelawney Division for some support. Hence, I am here with the team. When we arrived here, free burning was taking place, meaning that uh, around 60% of the property was on fire. We immediately got into operations using uh, three pumper and uh, a water tender until Trelawney arrived. 
we sectorize the whole zone and the firefighting activities uh, continued for around an hour before the fire was brought under control. We continue our firefighting until it was uh, fully extinguished. We are currently doing salvaging. Of note, this area, the fire load in this area is very heavy. Our initial investigation is saying that we have uh, approximately 100 shops here. It is board, all the buildings are board, and the material is highly flammable. Hence, uh, the extent of this damage. Our investigation continues as to, the, the, to determine the origin and the cause of, of this fire. Okay, um, sir, do you have any idea what time the fire started? This fire started, we received a call approximately 2.13 a.m. If you notice, it is uh, after six, we are still here. They say when the fire people, firemen got here, there was no water in the area. And so that is why they had to call for help from outside. Is that the case? Is there no, a, no. as is I there I a said water earlier, shortage or not? No, as I said earlier, we know the fire ground. So an incident like this, uh, there's a, a um, initial call out of all uh, of, um, fire apparatus in the area. So St. James alone, we have Iron Shore, Barnett Street, and we call in assistance from Falmouth because we know what could have ha taken place here this morning. Right? As it reg in regards to the water supply, yes, the water pressure is low in the area. However, we had no problems because we had assistance from the parish or the municipal corporation. In an article, my people, where it asks a question, has Jamaica become a contract killing den? I want to drop yes in the comment section or no in the comment section if you agree or disagree. And based on that question, we all have known that there has been a lot of senseless killing said to be contract killing. And according to statistics, my people, approximately 32 people had their lives taken last week alone in Jamaica. It is not surprising that we have arrived here, right? Remember, in one week alone, a 12 people killed and it is also said that jamaica has the second highest murder rate in the world 52 per 100,000 people so for every 100,000 people 52 people are killed or murdered the international benchmark is 30 murders per per 100,000 to establish the state of a civil war can you imagine my people right and the article is asking when are we going to wake up we've seen where a little youngster beat battered another youngster into the state of unconsciousness over a pair of shoes said to be clerks we also seen the incident with a man called Beach is Stout being played out right now, my people, in court. We are contract killers. We're hired. Wasn't paid. But yet still, it's alleged that they murdered the wife of that businessman. In recent times now, my people, we have learned that Alioda Bradshaw, along with three big hardback men, Hired in the contract killing of a 27-year-old mother and her 10-month-old baby. And as the songwriter Buju Bantan says in a lyric, where he quoted, Step, no time to linger. Man have to move through quick. No shells left behind. You better move well legit. Solid composure, youth. Your head can't. Sick. Woman and picnic still off limits but in this day and age in jamaica 
we seen where even when the artists them sing certain lyrics in today's Jamaica we have not even a baby from breast, not even a baby in utero is safe. Once the man them get a deposit, I eat that. Even if you were contracted, and I heard one of the contract killers in the whole Beachy Stout saga saying that he's not a criminal. He was just given a contract. And four attempts, according to his statement, four attempts were made unsuccessful. I want to still go kill the woman. Still haven't received that three million dollars. What is our Jamaica coming to, or what has our Jamaica gone to? We're not even a baby upon the breast is not saved. Not even a baby in utero. A mother was killed in her community. Drive-by shooting. Pregnant mother. My God. However, my people, as it pertains to the whole Leoda Bradshaw hire for murder contract killing Minister Paul Well has expressed his heart is heavy with the sadness and, ex and express hope that the individuals now charged with kidnapping and murder be punished to the full extent of the law. He quoted that the past few weeks have been extremely difficult for me as I grapple with the abduction of my daughter and her mother. I am heartbroken that the worst has happened, adding that he had prayed unceasingly for their safe return. And it's such an unfortunate situation where the young lady lost her life with her baby so brutally, so gruesomely. It's very sad. And we mourn with the family. We mourn with all the other families that are crying for their loved ones no more innocently killed, innocently murdered. Tell me what you think, my people, in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run, go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook, and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. We do notifications, shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to comment and like and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to Elsie Lynn Wright. Big up yourself, Elsie Lynn Wright. Thanks for all the support from each and every subscriber, new subscribers and returning subscribers. Big up on yourself. New viewers, come on board, journey with me, join the family, subscribe to the channel. On the road to 10k and beyond. Like up the videos, share out the videos, stay tuned for more videos, big up on yourself.